So this is uh, a park very close to my house. Um, this has kind of turned out to be one of the better parts of living in this neighborhood. Uh, I come here with my dog Scruffy, sometimes Layla joins us. Um, I was thinking about Atlanta and trying to describe it, um, particularly during the winter. Um, one nice uh, benefit of living here, this is the middle of January. This is about as cold as it gets. Uh, starts off maybe around 30, 32 in the morning and then by noon, which is now, temperatures gone up to the mid to high 40s. Sometimes it goes all the way up to 70, um, particularly when it's sunny today, it's a little overcast. Um, this park is called Atlanta Memorial Park. Um, the sidewalk's kind of new since we moved here three years ago. Um, this has been a real uh, blessing during this COVID situation. As you can tell, um, people are careful about staying socially distant. Uh, if we see people coming our way, at least one of us will go out to the street. Hi! Um, Peachtree Creek is to my right. Um, this is a very nice neighborhood. It's the um, southern part of Buckhead. Um, which is a nice part of Atlanta, although Frankly, I like all of Atlanta's neighborhoods. I grew up here. Uh, I was born in 59. Uh, we moved, my dad was a pharmacy student up in Athens. We moved originally to the nearby suburb, Smyrna. So I was in Atlanta for quite a long time. Uh, went to high school here near the old airport at Woodward. And, Went to college here at Emory. Uh, came up here a lot even when I was in medical school in Augusta. Um, there's a big sign down on Peachtree that has Atlanta population. And I can remember, I guess it was probably sometime in the maybe early 70s when it hit a million. Now it's up to 7 million. Um, we're actually not far from downtown. Um, You know, but when you're here, it uh, feels like you're in a suburb, but you're, you know, I'm actually in a city. Um, again, this is called Atlanta Memorial Park. Um, I didn't even really know it was here until uh, I moved to this area, which is a little bit west of Howell Mill Road. Um, the park extends south. I'm looking south right now. Um, now I'm looking directly east to Northside Drive, which is a big road. If I took a right there and headed south, I would uh, be down at Georgia Tech and um, Mercedes-Benz Stadium where all the football games are. I could get there very quickly, maybe just 10 minutes by going down that large road. Um, I'm just going to pan around kind of slow and looking east, this road ends in uh, Peachtree Battle. Um, so uh, up ahead, they're doing some construction work. Um, Atlanta has a very nice trail that eventually will uh, pretty much circle the whole city. It's very co close to completion. Uh, it's called the Beltline. Um, the, by far the most popular park um, is near a very large, beautiful park uh, called Piedmont Park. Uh, the designer of that park 
also designed Central Park in New York. Uh, I think it's Frederick Law Olmsted. Uh, it's just gorgeous. Uh, so if you want to Google it, definitely Google Piedmont Park, Atlanta, Georgia, and look at some of the images people have posted. Uh, Atlanta has several Instagram accounts with a lot of nice pictures of the city. Um, they are about to open up a park actually three times bigger than Piedmont Park. Um, well, more or less uh, south and west of here. Uh, it's called Reservoir Park. It used to be an old uh, quarry. Uh, they've already filled it up with water. Um, it was getting ready to open up before COVID hit. Um, it's going to be really nice. Um, it's connected to the belt line. Um, and there's another perk of the belt line too. Like I said, the most popular part part of the belt line runs around Piedmont. Um, what's really cool about that neighborhood, it the belt line will run through uh, by uh, Crog Street Market and then you know very close to the Inman Park neighborhood which is really cool. Uh, another really neat neighborhood with a lot of um, street art is called Cabbage Town. Uh, I've done oh, a few marathons here in Atlanta. You know, the Publix Half Marathon, the Thanksgiving Day, and that's a really great way to see the city. Um, it runs, the marathon, half marathon runs through uh, Virginia Highlands area. Um, I've never done the full, but you know, I'm just panning around here to show um, yeah, how really pleasant it is. I mean, you know, I kind of have some mixed feelings about my hometown. It, it really, it doesn't have anything particularly exciting about it. I've lived in New York City and wow, I mean, New York is a world capital, just tons and tons to do and super exciting. Uh, Atlanta's not like that at all, but I mean, you know, I've looked at some of the real estate prices there lately. It's a little ridiculous. I mean, I got a nice little town home, roughly 3,000 square feet. And for what I paid for it, you couldn't, gosh, I don't even know if you could buy a one bedroom in New York City. Uh, so that's a little steep for me. Rent in New York's pretty, there's a nice apartment complex across the street from me, and I think a really luxurious one bedroom is 1500 a month, and I know that won't get you much in Manhattan. Our daughter lives in DC. She's renting just a room for 1100 a month. So that's the problem with a lot of the cities in the US. I kind of feel sorry for young people. Um, you know, that's just too much to pay. Um, so anyway, I would not compare Atlanta's like a, to major cultural capitals. We've lived in Chicago. I think that's a lot more affordable, but wow, we were there for six years. It is really cold. Uh, nice people, great restaurant scene, a really fun city, but the winters, winters are brutal and long. Um, a little too much for me, but the locals never minded it. Um, we lived out in Portland. Shout out to all my friends in Portland. Um, Portland's an awesome city. Uh, the nearby hiking along the gorge is uh, just fabulous. Uh, but it is really cloudy and kind of damp. Um, if you want to visit friends on the East Coast, it's a long flight, but that's a fabulous city. Uh, well, anyway, enough for now. Uh, just thought I would give a little taste of Atlanta and for anybody that doesn't know me. Um, I'm James Smith. I created a channel called 
Dr. Young Boomer to, you know, space, Dr. DR space, Young space, Boomer space. I don't know how that's the way uh, YouTube maybe do it, but I have a Dr. Young Boomer, all one word, Instagram and website. Um, so you can go to those. You can contact me through that Gmail or through the website if you have any questions. Um, have a great Sunday.